What's up, y'all? It's your boy Cuzzo here, back with another video. Today, I had to do something that was on my mind heavy, and I know the community needs this. The community needs to hear it. Season 3 is upon us, right? And we all are dealing with randoms. If you play by yourself, like myself, of course. <laughs> if you play alone, like this, like, I still don't sound right. If you go into the wreck by yourself and play with randoms like me there we go that sounds better i'm here to help you i guess have a better time like i'm gonna give you some points i'm gonna give you some tips just take this with a grain of salt because it will work but sometimes you're going to run into somebody who actually gets you off your off your square but i'm going to show y'all i'm going to give y'all proven tips to help y'all get through the game get your grade because season three is all about getting your grade to get to level 40 and i'm not going to um stress that enough if you guys are trying to get to level 40 please go out there get a b plus to an a plus you want an a plus to a b plus that's what you need all you really need to do is go there set screens on somebody set picks pass and rebound you don't even have to score to get a good score in this, and to get a, um, a good grade in this game you don't even have to score you just gotta do the little things on the court so tip number one when you guys go into the wreck right and you miss your shot and you got you see that one person as soon as you miss like two shots or get a turnover that one person gets on and you see that mic this is what i want you to do I want you to just refrain from going back at them. Don't go back at them because this motherfucker is going to be there all day in your ear. The next you know, he's fucking up the whole game because he tries to prove a point. So don't do that. Don't go back with him. Don't say anything to him. And this goes for me too. A lot of, a lot of times I get in a wreck, I try to be the most, I guess, fundamental person passing the ball and a lot, a lot of times it doesn't work because you pass it to somebody who's selling who hit who's going one for eight and they still think they can make the shot and that's not the case so i just want y'all guys to keep your cool and just get your grade number two now if you have a shot right and you think you're open just take a mental pause and just ask yourself do I need to take this shot with two people on you? Because a lot of times, random do it. And you do it as well. I play a big man. A lot of times when I get the rebound, I want to put it back. I want to dunk on everybody. But not realizing like, yo, he's right. I could have passed that up. I could have made the extra pass. But I didn't because I went up and tried to go on three people sometimes. Or even four people. And I, I know you guys see me do it. I'll dunk on four people in a heartbeat. But... That's not the right thing to do. So please, don't score on multiple people. Don't think that you're Superman and the game is going to be won because you make the heroic shot in the game. That's not how it goes, all right? Just be a good teammate, right? So now that brings on to number three. Now, if you do come across somebody who just already agitated, right? And nine times out of ten, it's not even about you. You didn't agitate them. They're just upset and still mad from the previous game playing with randoms. And they get on and they're just pissed off. Like, oh, you randoms do this. You randoms do that. Just understand that that person, you just have to mute him. Don't be afraid to use that mute button, guys. That's number three. Don't be afraid to mute that motherfucker and get on with your day. Get your grade, or if you are scoring points, get your points, get your rebounds, and go on to the next game, right? So now, number four. When it comes down to actually winning the game, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about to that last 30 seconds, right? This is what I want you to do. I don't want you guys to panic. I want you to focus on the couple of people that were making good plays. Remember, at this point at the end of the game, you already muted a person that's toxic. You already 
held yourself accountable and said, oh, you know what? I'm not going to go back and forth. So this last tip, I want you guys just get out there. Just leave. Just shut up. I know it's like it's over at overlapping the same steps that I was telling you for from one to three. Just shut up. Don't say anything because the moment you say something is the moment that person is going to stand out of bounds. The moment that person is going to fucking go in the corner and just throw an alley oop over the basket. Like, I'm just saying, I just want you guys to be better people when it comes to to this 2k community i don't want you to mess up if these guys are messing up just let them mess up you get your grade and go so those are my tips just get your grade get out the get out the wreck and that's it don't go back and forth with these guys don't agitate them don't add fuel to the flames because you're gonna you're gonna be in there for at least 20 minutes with this person and nine times out of ten, these motherfuckers don't give a shit about nothing. They wake up and the first thing you know that's on their mind is violence. And you also got to understand, you got to learn how to find a troll. A lot of times in 2K, no one really cares that they spent $200, $300 on a character. That's the average that I spent on my character. And now when I, when I do that, it's an investment. Do I have the money that other people don't? Yes, I do. But I'm not going to go in there and be an asshole knowing that, okay, I spent money on my character. So now I'm obligated to go and dunk on everybody. I don't have to pass on. That's not how it goes, man. So my, my, my advice to you guys, just like, yo, just be better individuals. Let's push this. 2k community forward because it's like at the end of the day we are we're all going for the same goal we're all going for the goat status we want the stars in our name we want the gold emblems we want everything so let's be the best teammates we can and to all y'all randoms who really don't give a damn about what i just had to say then that's you you're just a random you're just a random that's going to get muted that's going to get ignored and eventually no one is going to care what you have to say so guys i'm out of here that's my video for today and i catch y'all on another video peace hope y'all make better decisions in 2k love you guys thank you all right guys so now you are at the end of the video so now the most important thing that you can do for yourself is hit that subscribe button also hit that like button so you will know the next time i upload a video also you got to turn on that notification as well i should have mentioned that hit that notification button as well that little bell that's right there on the side of the screen i think it's like right there hit that bell hit that subscribe button and you will see my face more Kazo, remember those tips guys please get this community off the ground help me make partner and hey we can have a good year in 2K. Thank you.